We're about to set sail from Little Rock, Arkansas out to Durango, Colorado area. We've got a muzzleloader tag for either sex elk, unit 75, 751, and then a buck tag mule deer. And so pretty excited about that. Going to be hunting with Tom Kenner with Antler Ridge Outfitting. And he's been scouting and he's got some animals he thinks on the property. So pretty excited about that. Uh, we're going to stop in New Mexico tonight and then head on into Colorado in the morning, about a 17 hour drive total to get there. So we're pretty excited. Did I miss anything? I, I'm pumped. Yeah. I, I, I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it's going to be a long drive, so we better yes, get sir. the road. We better. But, uh, we better. I'm looking forward to getting out of this humidity. It's September the 12th, 2013. It's about, I don't know, 85 degrees, about 200% humidity. Yeah, so it feels like 300. <laughs> we are uh, ready to get in that mountain air and start chasing bugling bulls and exactly. mule deer. So here we go. We'll check in later. It's about time to eat here in a little while. We're going to stop in the Big Texan. And I think Chris is going to try to get a steak. I'm not sure if he's going to go for the big 17 ouncer, but uh, that's kind of a tradition for me going out west. We always stop at the Big Texan whenever we can. So. Well, we just got through uh, eating at the Big Texan. Uh, one option is to eat a 72 ounce steak. You can eat it one hour, get it free. Uh, Chris and I took one look at it and opted for the eight ounce. <laughs> so I think that'll be a, a wise choice for tonight and tomorrow. One of these days I may try it, but tonight was not the night. So we're about an hour out from our hotel to the carry. We'll get a good night's rest. Get an early start in the morning and head up uh, head northwest to Bayfield, Colorado. Looking forward to it and ready to get started.
been a lot of rain the last few weeks, and right now, of course, and uh, there was a pretty good sized rock in the middle of the road, maybe 100 pounds, 120 pounds, two by two, two, two feet by two feet, so we passed it, and we got to thinking that that could cause some damage, so we went out in a big hurry, we we're making good time, so we just turned the truck around and uh, pulled up the divide. Move it over out of the way and go for that prevent somebody from having an accident, get hurt, or you know, hurt your vehicle. So we're doing our good deed for the day. We're heading into Chama, we go buy tea and uh, head, head up to Bayfield. tag here finally it took a little bit of doing but the lady was nice and uh, Tom is gonna get us on some animals so here we go horse, but he's got a body like well, it's crazy I told Chris I, mean, I said I just I'd love to have a big six by six but I just want to get on the bull yeah. I never killed a bull so yeah. well well then you know I mean the thing about this country is you know you better don't get too picky yeah you know, don't be too picky <laughs> yeah I mean you need to you know, get a lead. If you see a legal bull, you Go need ahead to take, take him. You yeah. know, that's what that's what we'll do. Yeah, so we'll, that's uh, you know, real early in the hunt or something. Not a great shot or something, but yeah, yeah. Well, uh, down there where we're going, it's it's a pretty good place. It's kind of it's kind of kind of away from everything. You Is know, it? It's not far from uh, from the highway. Or okay. Whatever, so all right. So anyway, yeah, we'll go down there and check it out here in a few minutes. jog out like this and I'll show you that over there but this is how it's shaped okay so it's kind of complicated all right so across that fence is not your problem that's a no-no that way it's yeah easy. okay, okay. <laughs> Look at the size of that rat. He's a three by four with some brow time. How big is he? 